Here's some examples of our idea of using thirds when soloing the autumn leaves in the key of E minor. I'm going to start right on the solo and let's see how this works. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I was staying pretty much in the same spot. I found, you know, my first chord was A minor, so I had my C, and then I went to D7, I had my F sharp, and then I had G chords, so I had a B, and then I had E. And that was for my F sharp minor 7 flat 5, and then the B7 chord, and then D sharp, and the G for the E chord, and then I think I went to E7, so went to that. But when I went to embellish, Sometimes I would go, I might go from a half step below the next target note, or a half step above. So most of my alterations or approaches were based on having a G major scale. Maybe a, so I was trying to play a, a reasonable sounding solo that only had a couple of notes, but still sounded professional or melodic. And it's definitely fun to play like that because the melodies kind of unfold for themselves when I hear those notes. I, it sounds melodic to me. And you don't, you don't have to play fast. You just have to play melodically. And that, that's where the fun lies. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 